this is how you do the bed. This is how you do the sit. This is how you do the plunk. And this is how you do the bird. The bird is a 1989 Talbot Express. I got them in the summer of 2020 and moved in pretty much straight away. I did make a few adjustments, which I'll get to later in the video, but before this, I lived in a smaller, a bit more jankier van while I was living at university studying film production. I got into van life because I started watching YouTube videos of people living this life and I'm pretty grateful that I was actually in the position to give it a go. Oh. So while I was at uni, I decided that afterwards I was going to go freelance as a filmmaker rather than a more traditional route in film. And that's what I did. More about this story later in the video. Let's get to the tour. Hello, my name's Lewis. I live in this van named Bert. So I'm not parked in the most interesting spot, um, but here is a tour. So. This area is for the shoes. Welcome to Bert. So that starts with the kitchen. Uh, here I have two hobs, a sink, a fridge, and lots of storage. In here is dried food and porridge things. In here is tea and coffee. It's quite full. This is a grill, but it doesn't work pots, pans, things like that. Fuel and cleaning cupboard. Tin food and alcohol and onions. The fridge only works when I'm plugged into power. So right now it's not working. So I've just got sauce really and some things I bought yesterday. So I usually just buy things that I don't really need to keep in the fridge. I've got this little magnetic spice rack. The living room <laughs> is here. So I've got table and chairs. I love these old shitty curtains that came with us. That came with Bert. I've got a nice big window that opens fully. And this does turn into a bed, uh, which is very handy. Up here we have a cupboard of random things. Oats, cereal, bananas, Allen keys. This one is clothes. So all of my clothes fit there. I store in these packing cubes and then use a, just any bag that I've got for washing. Juggling, juggling toys up here. Okay, so the bedroom is up here. It's great having a bed above the cab, very handy. Uh, and it's very comfortable. And my office is here. So if I open these two cupboards, I have a big monitor, a big widescreen monitor, and then I put my laptop here and I use this as a standing desk. Um, and then in here is just various camera things and down here we have a heater It doesn't really work that well if it's like freezing cold if it's like zero degrees But anything above like right now I think it's like nine degrees and it's absolutely I don't even need it on to be fair But it's nice to have at night. Okay, so the bathroom is here um, Let's turn on the light Okay, so this is one of the only things that I changed when I got the van here there used to be a chemical toilet but I was like well I'm gonna make this off-grid so uh, chemical toilets are not friendly when you're uh, off-grid because you need somewhere to dump it and I didn't want that and I was like well if I take it out I'm sure I can fit a bike in here and of course I took it out and I can fit my bike in which is amazing and then I've just got all my toiletry things up here and that's pretty much it I just opened this little this vent so the hot air of the heater just goes straight out, which is good. The last place is this little cupboard. And this is just storage for bags, coats, tripod, camping chairs, all things like that. It's just full of stuff. 
After I got Bert, I started spending all my money on fixing them up and making them functional enough to live in. I first ripped out the old bathroom and water heater, fixed up the old floor under the fridge, built the standing desk and replaced a few old parts. Then I went on some pretty fun trips during the summer. I did break down multiple times and I spent a lot of money on fixing Bert up. I pretty much travelled wherever I had to work and lived in Bert on the way. I'll make a video about my whole van life story in the future. It got complicated at some points and it's been quite a journey. Okay, on with the tour. I've got a power system in here and my friend Lewis from Adapt Van, shout out to Lewis, he helped me install this. I've got two leisure batteries, two 105 amp hour leisure batteries. And then that comes into this cupboard. I've got a 500 watt PS sine wave inverter um, and I've got an inverter control and an energy monitor here. So this tells me how much uh, power I'm using. And this is the old control panel, so, uh, oh, turn the lights off. Then I've got one for the water pump, the lights, and aux is hooked up to these lights and this little USB socket. This water gauge does not work. I've got a fresh water tank under this seat, and under this seat uh, it is storage. There used to be a curtain that came across here to keep in the heat, I guess. Um, or for like a changing area sort of thing. And I've put that here now, so I just took it under the bed. Um, and this just separates the cab from the back, uh, which is good in the winter, just to keep the heat in, because that's where the heat gets lost the most. Uh, but in the summer, I usually just put these curtains around the front. Uh, so they go all the way around the front and block this area off. And these two chairs turn around and face me. So when you have friends around, you can have like two sitting in the front, a couple sitting over here, uh, and one sitting on there. <laughs> and people standing up here. So you can have quite a few people in here. It's great for like chilling. Oh yeah, I've got this electric heater for when I'm plugged in. Like say when I go to my parents' house, I can plug in the van and then all of these plugs work. And all of these plugs. In the front, we have the drive-in area. <laughs> Look how long this... This is so wobbly. Look at this, man. That's like what it's like when it's in gear. Um, I'll have to do a separate video of me, of what it's like driving uh, <laughs> this, because it's it's pretty old, so, you know, it's not, not the best to drive. Got all these old dials, but these these are super satisfying. Listen. But there's not really much to, to say here. I think the best thing to do is show you what it's like driving this in another video. But yeah, look at these, look at this design. Oh, nice. Got these dudes up here. Yeah, there's the storage under each of these seats. So this one I just use for the cable um, to plug in. Under this seat um, actually co came with a lock, like a little lock box. You can see here. So I just use that for... What do I use that for? Tools. Use that for tools. So it's good having some areas to lock up my stuff. I've also got a safe in here for my camera gear. Um, because that's what uh, that's my job. I'm a filmmaker. Make music videos, documentaries, uh, that sort of thing. This channel is mainly going to be making like documentaries. Um, and I want to do it on other people. Like focus on people that I find interesting. Uh, documentaries about their life and adventures and so and so. And then some videos like this where I'm in the van. It's it's not definitely not a van for stealth, but I don't really mind because if someone has a problem, they'll come up and ask me and I don't mind talking to people. Like police stopped me the other day and I just told them that I lived in here and they moved me on and that's that's usually how it goes. Another thing, I've got a nice sign, another nice sign and a, actually a great painting by my mate Egon. Uh, it's a print of one of his paintings, but look, this is sick. I'll uh, I'll link Egon's store in the comments somewhere uh, if you enjoy paintings and would like them. It's actually a really good quality print. Some downsides to Bert is that it's shit to drive, <laughs> but shit in a good way. Like it's really funny, um, but it's not the most practical thing in the world. It's pretty bad on fuel. Uh, it's always I'm always scared that I'm gonna break down everywhere. I mean, it broke down like three times already. And one time I even got stuck for like a full week in Scotland in a town called Perth. That was an interesting time. Uh, waiting for parts to come in cost me a lot of money. If you want me to make a video about that story, uh, let me let me know in the comments. 
That was an interesting time. It's been pretty bad during the freezing cold winter. Uh, like it's definitely not hot enough or not insulated enough or I don't have a good enough heater for the winter time. So I was like spending a lot of time at my parents' house and just using an electric heater. I mean, living wise, I think everything's great in here. It's ideal. Um, maybe a thing would be like a bigger water tank. That would be nice. But like, but like living wise, it's fine. It's more like the mechanical side because it's so old. Um, that is the problem. The, the electric system works really well. Um, I mean, it would be nice to have more power or solar panels, but that can all be like upgraded in the future. The rate of charging the batteries is every about every hour of driving charges about five percent which is not really that much so i have to do a lot of driving to get it full you ever plug the van in somewhere via the cable it will charge the batteries so uh, i could probably last like a week or two or something of driving about and then i'll have to find somewhere to to charge up yeah, apart from that it's uh it's pretty good and then the other obvious van life things of like finding water getting signal doing work and stuff but thankfully like I'm, I'm very lucky with the job that I do as a filmmaker and the friends that I have around the UK. Um, I always feel welcome to go, or my, my friends make, make me always feel welcome to go um, use the facilities at the house. I'm very grateful. It's, it's not too bad in here. Okay, so this, uh, this is how I work usually um, at my standing desk. So I've got the, the monitor up here and my laptop here and um, put the mouse up on here up on the bed it's pretty sweet editing setup it's um it's ideal really and the way the power system works so the invert when i have the inverter on yeah when i have the inverter on only this plug works i run an extension up into this cupboard to here which has three ports on that powers the monitor and i just plug my laptop in there also which I don't have plugged in right now. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's good if it's a bit cold as well because the heater is directly below me. So um, yeah, this is the, the warmest area to stand. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, if you've got any other questions, please leave them in the comments and I can make more videos about what it's like living in this van. Uh, it's currently locked down in the UK. So I've kind of had to uh, be more at my parents' house or friends' houses and stuff. I can't really uh, travel. Um, so I'm sort of stuck to one area. If you would like to support my adventures and let me make more videos on this channel, uh, maybe about me living in the van or the documentary content that I made before that I mentioned before, then I've got a link to buy me a coffee um, below, which is it's a bit like Patreon, but you can just pay like a one-off donation if you want, or you can subscribe. Appreciate you watching this. Let me know if you like it and good bonk. Thanks for watching. Nice.